Hello everyone, welcome back to Onichin. Today I will review the latest One Piece movie One Piece. Red, about Luffy's group's journey on Music Island, where he meets his childhood friend Uda, who is also the daughter of Luffy, red-haired Emperor Shang. Uda aims to use music to create a new era. However, she becomes a prime target of the world government and the navy for possessing a weapon of destruction, could destroy the world. So Luffy's group and Shank's crew join forces to fight together, help Uda wake up and drive out the marines. But before that, Luffy and his crew were still adventuring at sea, and they came across a famous song that is now loved all over the world. Everyone likes that singer's voice, because it warms their hearts. However, only Luffy knows the singer of this song best. Meanwhile, Uda reminisces about his childhood journey with Shank's crew. When they were in Windmill Village, Luffy was just as destructive as he is now, he kept causing mischief but still loved by everyone and gave a fruit basket. Suddenly a monkey wanted to take Luffy's fruit. So Luffy challenged the monkey, saying if it could beat him, it would get it fruit. The monkey engages Luffy. And then a fierce fight. Luffy wins, leaving the monkey sad and walks away. However Luffy still shares his food with the monkey. While Luffy while eating, a wild boar started chasing him, causing Luffy to fall into the sea. Fortunately Garp appeared and rescued Luffy in time. Garp scolded Luffy, telling him that if he couldn't swim, he couldn't become one Marines, but Luffy doesn't want to be Marines, because he wants to be the freest man in the world. This makes Garp punch him really hard. Meanwhile, Uda and Shank's ship just got a pile of treasures. Uda reveals his dream of becoming the greatest singer in the world and gives a grand concert so everyone can hear her sing. As for Shank, he is hiding a devil fruit that he I just stole it. Uda assumes Shank will give it to her. But Shank makes it clear that it won't happen. Luffy still bitter from Grandpa's beating, suddenly notices an approaching pirate ship near his village. He ran to see who these pirates were and was suddenly teased by Uta and told her she was Captain Shank's daughter. Upon seeing Shank, Luffy immediately challenged and asked Shank to leave immediately. However less than five minutes later, the boy changed his mind and wanted to become a pirate to join Shank's crew. So, Shank plays coin hiding with Luffy. But surprisingly, Luffy is so immature and naive. Even after taking away three cups, the coin is still nowhere to be found. It's Luffy's turn to hide the coin. But Shank immediately immediately discovered that Luffy was holding it in his mouth. Unexpectedly, Luffy swallowed it whole. Suddenly, Uda came and warned Luffy to stay away from Shank, self-proclaimed musician of the red-haired pirates, seeing Luffy think Uda is lying. They decided to set up a stage for Uda to perform. But to Luffy's surprise, she sang beautifully, so Luffy immediately declared that he can sing too. But it sounds more like a cow make Uda run out. I want to keep my distance from you, to bring the two closer together. Shank instructs Luffy to take Uda on a tour of a village. However, none of them were willing to back down. So together they see who climbs the cliff first, regardless of height or arm wrestling. Luffy is always defeated by Uda. At that moment, Luffy realized that Uda saw everywhere as a stage. So he took her to a great stage, a windmill, makes Uda emotional. A few days later, Uda blamed Shank for letting Luffy jump off the mountain. Show your courage. But Luffy continued to be stubborn and persistent, constantly looking for Shank to apply to join the pirate crew. Seeing Luffy being too annoying, Uda angrily drags him to train. While they argue, the two argue who is more mature. But Uda is two years older than Luffy. This surprised Shank, as they became best friends, at that moment. The two of them pulled together to go racing, try to run to the first rock, but they didn't expect that the rock was a sea dragon, make them come back immediately. Almost both of them were logged out. Uda teases Luffy to run faster than her, but Luffy confidently declares that he will become a pirate and defeat the sea monster. Uda also opened his heart and began to express his dream of bringing his voice around the world, create a new era. So Luffy decided that he would also create a new era, explore the world gather many companions, and enjoy a variety of dishes. However, Uda questions whether that will really change the world. However, Uda and Luffy promised to fulfill their dreams together. The next day, Luffy still wanted to go with Shank, but he was rejected and thrown back. Uda said that Luffy can think about it when he becomes stronger. Thus, the crew of Shank and Uda set sail. But she promised to come back and find Luffy. After Shank and Uda left, Luffy felt extremely sad. Then one day, Shank's ship suddenly returned. However, everyone appeared sad and moody. Luffy searched and searched but couldn't find Uta anywhere. Noticing that something was amiss, Luffy asked Shank. But all Shank said was that Uta left the group to become a singer, 
Luffy couldn't believe this because Uda loved Shank very much. She would never leave Shank's pirate crew like that. Shank was silent, not saying a word. Meanwhile, Luffy was crying because he couldn't find Uda. So he decided to cut ties with Shank. Sometime later, an article spread around the world. While Zoro was training to defeat Kuina in the dojo, his master read an article saying that Shank's pirates had destroyed the entire city of Elegia. Yushop is learning to lie. Sanji is learning to be a chef in a restaurant by the sea. Even Nami's adoptive mother reads that newspaper, making them impossible. On Sengoku and Garp's side, they found the red hair pirates' worrisome connection to something called Tot Musica. While Luffy was still sulking and refusing to talk to Shank. So Ben Beckman found Luffy, and he told Luffy to forgive Shank, because this is a secret that Shank can't reveal, but still Luffy can't accept it and leaves, because he misses Uda a lot. Suddenly two arrogant bandits appear and mock Luffy. Turns out they want revenge because the last time Luffy and Uda beat them, they punch Luffy non-stop. But at this moment Luffy only thinks about Uda. Luckily, Beckman arrived in time to intervene with them. Scared them and ran away. That night he carried Luffy home. Luffy realized that he was still too weak and said he will become strong the next day. Luffy goes to find Shank again and tells him that I want to get on the ship. But Shank still rejects him and constantly mocks Luffy as a child. While the world government realizes that Shank is Shank, very troublesome. Back to Luffy's group now. They are all very excited because there is going to be a big show being held in Allegia. So Luffy decided to go there. Meanwhile, Uda is currently wanting to create a peaceful world. Because the present era is dominated by pirates. They plunder and wreak havoc everywhere. Make people hungry. And they hate pirates more and more. So Uda determined to create Ushered in a new era, to help everyone live in happiness, while Luffy's group is currently preparing for a party, to wait and listen to the famous Uda's voice. Finally Uda appeared on the stage big, she started shaking things up with her music and singing, making people excited and enjoying the music with Uda. People from all over the world gathered, dancing with Uda, from Windmill Village to Sanji's Bharati, to Bubble Island and Fishman Island, making everyone emotional. When I do Uda's performance ended, everyone cheered enthusiastically, because of his beautiful voice her, while a group of pirates was planning to kidnap Uda. Suddenly Luffy reached out and jumped to Uda's side. Long time no see, Uda. You are Luffy, that made Uda very happy and ran to hug her. Luffy, surprise everyone, they couldn't understand how Luffy knew such a famous singer, and the audience recognized him as the captain of the Straw Hat Pirates, at this point they all wondered how he got to know the princess. Uda, because she is Shank's daughter. Shocking on stage, because Shank is a strong Yonko of the sea. Shank once destroyed Allegia City, but those who want to kidnap Uda step on stage with excitement. Because if they caught Uda, they could threaten the red-haired Yonko. As they were about to capture her, they were immediately attacked by Oven, Big Mom's son. It turns out that both Brule and Oven wanted to capture Uda as well. But if Uda is Luffy's friend, how can his team stay out? So the whole group attacks them together. Jinbei and Frankie rush to attack Oven, while Luffy and Robin take care of the pirates. Suddenly, Uda said that the war was enough. Tell them to sit down, have a piece of cake, and enjoy her performance, and she told them not to be pirates anymore because her previous band was also a pirate crew, but when listening to her voice, everyone becomes a musician, which makes the pirates laugh, because they couldn't believe that Uda could make them give up being pirates, then she started to sing, unexpectedly, her voice helped Uda put on armor, make them unable to attack her, they even captured Oven and imprisoned them in the song. Realizing that Uda wants to create a peaceful world, so people choose to support Uda, doesn't care if she's Shank's daughter or not, Suddenly, Uda announced usually, her show ends early, but today, Uda's performance will go on forever, and people will forever hear her voice, unexpectedly, she even warned the marines and the world government do not interrupt this performance, or they will pay the price, because Uda will create a new world where everyone is happy. Meanwhile, the five elders were still watching the live broadcast, and they realized that Uda is a dangerous person they want to get rid of. Although Uda is like Redhead with Figarland lineage, since she has the power to awaken the ancient weapon Tot Musica, although it has been sealed since ancient times, so they immediately contacted Akainu, commanded more than 30 warships and two vice admirals, Kazaru and Fujitora, go to Allegia and capture Uda. While Uda continued to use his power, to bring joy and happiness to everyone, Luffy continues to grill meat to celebrate, 
while Big Mom, one of the Yonko, realizes Uda's devil fruit powers are insanely strong, and she was determined to get her, seeing my sister arrested, Katakori decided to join the battle, while Sanji was amused, because on this island of Uda, Sanji can find anything he wants, there is no shortage of food, so Uda ran over to confide in Luffy, she wondered why Luffy was given a straw hat by Shank, while she has begged for it in the past and did not receive it, so Uda decided to compete with Luffy, and compete to see who wins the most battles while they're young. So Uda created an arena to compete with Luffy, make two plates of fried chicken to see who can eat the fastest, whoever eats slowly will be sucked into the water by the cow. Seeing that Luffy ate almost all of it, while Uda had three more left, Uda immediately conjured a beer for Luffy. Luffy was then sucked into the water by the bull, so Uda immediately pulled Luffy up, made him not only sulky but also accused Uda of cheating. Uda keeps asking where Luffy Shank is, but he still doesn't know, at this point, Everyone is curious to know when Luffy and Uda know each other, so both of them told them that they had met at Windmill Village, 12 years ago, they often fought over the same chicken drumsticks. Now Uda also tricked Luffy with a glass of water, so she won, despite his anger, Luffy still refused to accept defeat against Uda. They argue over who is the real pirate, as soon as the two are ready to fight, Shank comes in and stops the two kids, so the two continued to follow Shank, Luffy wondered why Uda called Shank her father because Uda is Shank's adopted daughter, but Uda loves Shank deeply, then she began to sing, make everyone feel warm, but unexpectedly, when she sang, everyone fell asleep, when Luffy wakes up, he wants to sing too, at this point, Luffy asked why Uda suddenly disappeared, but Shank just said that Uda left the group to become a singer, without disclosing any further information, Uda said that she would rather be a singer than a pirate, even though she's only been active for two years, she already has raving fans all over the world. But when she learns that Luffy's dream is to become the Pirate King, Uda tells Luffy to give up being a pirate, live a happy life with her on this island. But no matter what, Luffy is determined to follow his dream, and plan to leave. Unexpectedly, Uda immediately changed his attitude towards them, saying that everyone, including Luffy, will be here happily with her forever. To her surprise, she immediately attacked Nami and Sanji. Get both of you into her song. Realizing that Uda wants to deal with all the pirates, Zoro and the others started fighting. Uda turns the musical notes into attacking soldiers against Zoro and the others. Even if they defeat them, they will immediately reappear. Uda continued to advise Luffy to give up being a pirate. But at the moment Luffy is not in the mood to fight Uda. Uda said, if you don't fight, then I will fight. So Uda continued to use his devil fruit powers, create more minions to attack Luffy's group. At this time, music becomes Uda's weapon. Unexpectedly, she caught Luffy and the others. Luffy couldn't escape even if he struggled with all his might. Meanwhile, the audience also despised the pirates, because the pirates took everything from them. As soon as Luffy escaped, he was immediately splashed by seawater, make Luffy lose all his power. While Luffy was surrounded by the townspeople, Kobe was watching nearby. Suddenly, Bartolomeo appeared and rescued him, because he is a big fan of Luffy. Unexpectedly, both were teleported, and it turns out that Law is here too. At first Bartolomeo thought Law was a fan of Uda, but it turns out he was just following Beppo for fun. At this point, Law is curious about Uda's abilities, but Uda quickly found them, continued to summon an entire army of music to pursue Luffy. Meanwhile, Kobe was mingling with the crowd to observe the situation. Bluno from CP9 is also here to work with the copy team. Meanwhile, Zoro's group is still captured while Luffy and Law's group are evading the pursuit of the soldiers, suddenly an old man appeared, led them to their hiding place, he introduced himself as Gordon, the former king of the country of Allegia, Bartolomeo wondered how this deserted island could be a country, so Law explained to everyone, that this was once a prosperous musical nation, but it disappeared overnight, Gordon then told them, that he raised Uda on this island, although lonely, Uda often writes and sings songs, he always tried to raise Uda to become a famous singer, but Uda knew almost nothing about the outside world, until she found the messenger snails, so Uda was able to start singing for everyone to hear, bring joy to the unfortunate, when she learns of the brutal pirate world outside. Uda decided to become a savior and create a new world, at this point, Gordon asks Luffy to stop Uda's plan. Unexpectedly, Uda immediately found them, and turned Beppo into a cub, Luffy wonders why she left Shank's crew, that angered Uda, and she took Luffy's straw hat. Realizing the situation is unstable, Law teleports the group. 
While Luffy wants his straw hat back, Law informs him that the world government and the Marines are very interested in Uda's power, so they need to gather more information about her abilities. Suddenly, Bartolomeo carelessly led Luffy down a cliff. Fortunately, the soldiers didn't notice them. Meanwhile, Gordon is captured by Uda. He worries that the Navy will find her, but surprisingly, Uda was holding the song Tot Musica in her hand. Turns out she found it underneath Gordon's castle. Meanwhile, Luffy's group arrives at the port. But they could not find the Sunny, turns out Uda turned it into a lion cub. The Navy has also infiltrated the island. But they saw no one. It turned out that everyone was fast asleep in a corner of the island. When the Navy assumed they were all dead, Uda appears and tells them that they are just sleeping. Turns out Uda's devil fruit powers are due to her voice. She can transport people's consciousness into her world. But if the Marines killed her, everyone would be lost in that world forever. Admiral Fujitora realized that Uda was eating the soya mushroom. Whoever eats it cannot sleep and will die. When the Navy tried to stop Uda, she started singing, Unexpectedly, they are preparing their headphones, but Uda can control the bodies of people who are fast asleep to attack the marines, and take off their headphones, so they were immediately drawn to Uda's voice and penetrated into their minds by her. As a result, the navy came under control and began to attack each other. Uda even manipulated Law's body to attack Admiral Fujitora, so the entire navy is under her control. Meanwhile, Luffy's group is still trying to find a way out of Uda's bondage. Suddenly, Robin realized, there's a hidden meaning in Uda's music, so she asked Brooke to sing, suddenly, Copy and Bluno appeared, confirming that Robin's thoughts are correct, and they let Brooke sing a Uda song, unexpectedly, they successfully neutralized Uda's power, on Gordon's side, Beppo helps him, meanwhile, Luffy's group is still trying to figure out Uda's abilities, then Copy appeared and revealed Uda's true power, he said that this world is not the real world, it was a fictional world created by Uda's devil fruit powers, their real bodies are still sleeping on the island, in other words, everyone is in a dream state, now Luffy understood why everyone fell asleep when Uda sang when they were kids, if they want to neutralize this power, the only way is to put Uda to sleep, but outside, Uda continued to eat mushrooms soberly, allow her to continuously maintain this power, if Uda dies, everyone's souls will be trapped in this world forever, at this point, they are still trying to find a way to escape, while Robin and the others were researching Uda's abilities, Sanji and Zoro are arguing with each other. They discover that Uda's secret lies in the library room. Suddenly, three living statues attack them. Zoro and Sanji take care of them. Unexpectedly, more statues appeared, so everyone tries to protect Robin, because she can uncover Uda's secret. Meanwhile in the outside world, Uda is being watched by CP0. She continues to use Den Den Mushi to bring people into her dreams. She even spread it around the world. The world government realizes that Uda will be exhausted and die in an hour, and 70% of the world's population will forever be trapped in her world. Suddenly, the stupid celestial dragon appeared out of nowhere. He wants to buy Uda for a billion belly, but this fool doesn't realize that this is Uda's world. So even though he was a celestial dragon, he was just like an ordinary person. He gave the order to shoot Uda, but it couldn't hit her, unexpectedly, he also shot his subordinates, angry Uda, because the marines, who claim to uphold justice, act as a hunting dog for the celestial dragons, so Uda caught them all, and give this fool a merciless blow, seeing Uda dare to fight against the celestial dragons, people are starting to panic, because the world government and the navy will attack them for it, suddenly, Copy runs over and tells Uda to stop everything, as soon as they saw Copy, everyone cheered, because Uda is now a hero to the people. At this point, Copy revealed the truth to everyone, that this is just Uda's dream world. Although Uda said that everyone here would be happy and contented, and have everything they want, no need to study or worry about outside life. But unexpectedly, everyone felt bored, so they immediately turned their backs on Uda, doesn't want to stay here any longer, and asks Uda to take them out. This caused Uda to lose control of the sea level rise and turn everyone into toys. On the other hand, five elder stars decided to eliminate Uda. Fortunately, Copy was back in time. Turns out they also liberated Oven. However, he doesn't want to cooperate with Luffy, choosing to stop Uda alone. Meanwhile, Robin is trying to uncover the secret of Tot Musica, while the others were fighting with the stone people. But these stupid stone statues are easily defeated in a short time. They even overreacted to destroy the castle. In the end, 
everyone rallied back to Luffy. Turns out it was Brule who brought the group here. At this time, Robin informed everyone that if they want to escape from this world, they have to wait for Uda to use Tot Musica. It is the weapon that gathers all the emotions of mankind since time immemorial, and also known as the Demon King. If Uda used Tot Musica to summon the Demon King, it will appear in the real and virtual world simultaneously. If both worlds attack and defeat the Demon King, they will have a chance to escape from this world. But now everyone is stuck in this world, and who can help them defeat the Demon King in the real world? At this moment, Gordon also arrived, and he says that Shank will definitely stop Uda in the real world. Luffy wonders what happened between Uda and Shank, but he still didn't tell him. So Luffy decided to find Uda and get some answers. While Uda is here, she is indulging and turning people into toys. Then Luffy walked over. Uda thinks Luffy is here to challenge her, so she ordered her soldiers to attack him, but they have no effect on Luffy. At this point, Luffy tries to convince Uda to stop. Uda wonders why Luffy wants to become the Pirate King, to create a new era. This frustrated Uda and immediately arrested Luffy, planned to execute him like Roger. Suddenly, she tore off Luffy's straw hat. Make him angry. Shank isn't your favorite person? So Uda finally told Luffy everything. In the past, Uda always treated everyone like his family, but Shank suddenly abandoned Uda and stayed in Allegia. Turns out Shank originally brought Uda here to become a singer. Gordon recognizes Uda's talent and see her as a world treasure. Shank also realized that Uda's voice would bring happiness to everyone, so he decided to let her stay here, but she just wanted to be a musician on Shank's ship. Unexpectedly that night, the entire kingdom of Allegia was destroyed, caused the death of many people. When Uda regains consciousness, Gordon tells her that Shank is responsible for this, and he took all the treasures and left. You were deceived by the red hair pirates, Uda, but Uda still doesn't believe it and chases after Shank. Meanwhile, Shank's pirates have left the island. After that incident, Shank was wanted with a bounty of 1 billion 40 million belly. Even so, Luffy still doesn't believe that everything is true, in the outside world. Uda wants to kill Luffy, but unexpectedly, Shank actually appeared and stopped her. It's been a long time since I heard your voice, Uda. Uda was surprised, but she still resented Shank for abandoning her, and she said that pirates are just a bunch of criminals. So she urged everyone to stand up. In the afterlife, Copy and the others also attacked Uda. But when Uda was about to sing, Beppo and Sunny stopped him. So Law immediately transferred Uda into Bartolomeo's barrier to prevent her singing from spreading outside, in the outside world. Uda directs people to attack Shank's ice, but since they were just normal people, Shank couldn't fight back. Suddenly, someone attacked the people, causing Uda a lot of pain. Shank realizes that they are marines, and Red Dog ordered them to kill Uda. Golden Monkey Kazaru also appeared. When he was about to attack everyone, Shank immediately intervenes to stop him, make him withdraw. At this point, Fujitora also intends to stop Shank inside the world. At this moment, everyone sees that Uda is losing control, and also the newly converted soldiers. In the end, Uda decided to use Tot Musica. Shank and the Marines realize that she is summoning an ancient demon king, so Shank immediately barged in, but he was repelled by the demon king inside the world. The demon king also appeared, so people rushed to attack him. At this point, the five elder stars began to worry, because with the appearance of the Demon King, there was no way to stop it. While Zoro's group was attacking, they couldn't even scratch the Demon King. Luffy started to act. He immediately used Gear 3 to punch the Demon King. Meanwhile, Uda is still excited to finish her song. At this point, even though everyone attacked the Demon King together, he remains unaffected. Law realized that attacking the Demon King alone was futile, so Luffy immediately jumped on top of the Demon King to have a chat with Uda. But Uda still refused to listen to Luffy, and she threw a spear at him, unexpectedly, the old man jumped in to help Luffy, because he didn't want Uda to hurt his friend, at this point, Gordon decided to reveal the truth, turns out 12 years ago, it wasn't the red hair pirates that destroyed Allegia, but that's taught Musica, on that fateful night, after learning that Uda was leaving with Shank, everyone wants Uda to sing for them, unknowingly, her voice accidentally opened the taught Musica scandal, and it found its own way to Uda. So Uda decided to try singing, unexpectedly able to summon the Demon King, and it ended up destroying the entire kingdom. Shank's crew must work together to defeat the Demon King and save Uda. Because Uda is just a child shouldn't know the truth. So Shank told Gordon to lie, to say that they were responsible for the destruction of the kingdom, 
and to help Uda become the greatest singer. That's why Shank's crew left and left Uda behind, even though they were sad to leave her behind. When Luffy learned the truth, he was overjoyed, but all of a sudden, Uda attacked him. Luffy noticed that Uda still had a drawing of him as a child in his hand. Stop. Uda. This is not the new era you want to create. At this point, Uda can't stop anymore, because she is being controlled by the Demon King. Now the Demon King has fully awakened and intends to destroy everyone. Meanwhile, Admiral Kazaru asked Ben Beckman, why would the pirates want to protect the people when the marines are planning to kill them? Because we can't let our daughter suffer anymore. At this point, Redhead realizes that Uda has merged with the Demon King, taught Musica. While in Uda, she recalls everything. It turns out that a year ago, she knew the truth through the messenger snail, and she knew that she was the one who destroyed Allegia. But since she knows that many people are being oppressed by pirates, and they want to hear her sing, Uda is still determined to create a new era. Inside, everyone is still fighting against the Demon King, but no matter how they attacked, the Demon King remained unaffected. So Luffy decided to go all out against Top Musica, and he activated Gear 4. While Gordon was begging everyone to save Uda, Luffy immediately rushed to attack the Demon King. Outside, Shank is still trying to restrain the Demon King. When the Demon King was slowly merging the two worlds, suddenly, Katakori appeared to assist Shank. He told Shank to use Observation Hockey, will help Shank be able to see everyone fighting from the inside. Meanwhile, the Marines come back to rescue the people. Luffy's side broke through the Demon King's defenses. Shank realizes that Luffy is fighting from within, and Usopp who used Observation Hockey accidentally saw his father, so Luffy's group decided to join forces with Shank's crew and Usopp instructs everyone to attack Musica, help both internal and external teams coordinate their attacks, they move in perfect sync, then it was Luffy and Shank's turn to act, Luffy instantly transforms into Snake Man and punches him in the face, while Shank attacks him from the outside, but at this moment, Shank remembered, during a treasure hunt, they found Uda, that made Shank recall how Roger once found him in a similar way, so Shank decides to adopt Uda, at this time, Luffy accidentally awakens Gear 5 and together with Shank defeats the Demon King. In the end, they were able to rescue Uda from the inside. But by this time, Uda was completely exhausted. Unexpectedly, people are still controlled. Katakori didn't understand that they had defeated the Demon King. Even Uda didn't understand why they weren't out of that world yet. It turned out that their consciousness had been swallowed up by Tot Musica. Uda realizes that she has to sing to pull everyone back. Despite seeing Uda exhausted, Redhead was forced to let her sing to save everyone. Uda's singing calms everyone down, and Luffy's group inside the world also heard her singing. This helped bring people back to the real world. Meanwhile, Luffy is having a sincere conversation with Uda. But Uda continued to tease him, she suddenly realized that Luffy was taller than her. But Luffy feels sad because he knows they won't see each other again after this conversation. Outside, everyone is still watching Luffy sleep. While Uda himself was completely exhausted, suddenly, the marines didn't give up and aimed their guns at them, because they still want to capture Uda, Shank's crew is ready for battle, Shank declared, Uda is my daughter, anyone who wants to capture her must be ready to die. So Shank released his conqueror hockey, surprisingly, even the vice admiral couldn't stand Shank's conqueror hockey, they realized that this situation is difficult to deal with, so they decided to withdraw, at this time, Uda is very weak while Shank and the others remained by her side, in the end, they took Uda away. The people in Luffy's group regained their composure, Luffy wonders where Shank is, turns out they went far, and he realized that Uda was no longer there, that's it for today's video, remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel, to support Oni-chan in the following videos, thanks for watching, love always.